Is Hungary the Africa of Europe? You might think this question makes no sense and sounds pointless, but it's more meaningful than you think. While not obvious at first, it makes sense to ask when you are aware that modern day African migrants in Europe and Hungary's history have similarities. First of all, the Hungarian people are not originally European. While today a Hungarian face is indistinguishable from an average European, this wasn't always the case and is not the face of their claimed Magyar ancestors. I say claimed ancestors because they lost throughout the years any genetical similarities. The Magyars emigrated from Asia over a thousand years ago moving from beyond the Ural Mountains into modern-day Ukraine and Moldova before finally settling in the Carpathian Basis, the region where Hungary is located today. This migration mirrors in some ways the migration of Africans to Europe today. Just as Africans are moving towards Europe in search of new opportunities, the Magyars moved westward from their original lands. Some may even draw parallels between these migrations and see both groups as trying to take over new regions. The reality is more complex and, in this case of African migrants, they are unlikely to be successful. When the Magyar tribes arrived in Europe, they may have appeared strong and proud at first, but on closer examination, they had deep-seated insecurities about their place in Europe, their culture, architecture, basic understanding of the world and religion were less developed than those of their European neighbors. For example, they were unable to build more advanced structures like two-story buildings and their pagan religion resembled spiritual practices with shamans like voodoo more than the established Christian traditions of Europe. This cultural insecurity led them to assimilate and borrow heavily from the more advanced cultures surrounding them, such as the German, Croats, Romanians and Slovaks. They sought to advance from their tribal roots and align themselves with the more civilized societies of Europe. In this regard, there is a perceived similarity to African migrants today, where they have similar insecurities about European culture. While some may publicly reject European culture, they are often just lying to themselves, trying to hide deep feelings of inferiority. Interestingly, modern-day Hungarians share very little genetic similarity with their original Magyar ancestors due to their small numbers and their desire to integrate into European society, the Magyars quickly intermarried with local populations. Over time, their original identity faded, blending into the broader European genetic and cultural landscape. Despite this, many Hungarians still maintain some attachment to their Asian roots. This connection is often kept alive throughout propaganda in their education and national pride. A good example of this ridiculous attitude is Hungary's association with the organization of Turkic states and Prime Minister Viktor Orban's love for Turkey another country with a fake identity hiding its European, more specifically Greek roots. This historical legacy reveals a paradox. Even though Hungary is deeply integrated into Europe, it continues to look eastward, embracing a heritage that is only partially its own. It's a ridiculous act that sometimes complicates Hungary's relationship with the European Union. Similar to how many African migrants lack the same loyalty to the European continent. This was it for this video, thank you for watching and make sure to leave a comment with your opinion and I may respond to it if it makes sense. Thank you.